Hey there, it's TL Turner. Thank you so much for watching this quick video. Feel free to hit subscribe and stick around. Maybe leave a comment or two. All right, take care. Well, hello there. My name is TL Turner. It is approximately 2.39 p.m. Central Standard Time, Thursday, May the 30th. Just wanted to double check I had to double check so 3 39 p.m eastern standard time and that would make it 2 29 or basically 2 2 excuse me 2 39 2 40 a.m indochina time right because it lines up at this present time with central standard time now in this video i did set a timer we have about little under five and a half minutes to talk about the trade that we took of the week. Got a deal in the morning, yeah. Make a big call so fast. Gonna get that golden flash. Trade of the week now. Really quickly, I would like to jump into the style of trading because I had a consultation this week where the client was under the impression that with day trading or with the style of trading that I teach, we are attached to our charts no 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 my friend my style of trading means that i may or may not open a trade in a week rarely am i opening trades during the day typically i wake up in profit or i wake up in a situation where i have to manage a trade so let's fast forward to where we are so technically you could call that more of a swing trader i don't consider that i just look at okay what's what are my targets for this trade and have they been met? Have they, have they been, have my boundaries been crossed? What, what, uh, depending on that trade, every trade is different. Don't want to get too far from the topic. We are currently in USD's R. Okay. Shout out to USD's R for making sure what she showed that she was going to do. She did now basic candlestick formation, nothing fancy. We entered this market on May the 22nd. I don't even have to look at the chart. I can tell you exactly what happened. Entered on May the 22nd. Okay. Now, a few days in there, three days to be exact, where the market pulled back. Okay. So the first day that we got in there, boom, it shot right up. The following three days, the market pulled back almost aggressively, pretty much to where we got in. Okay. Now, yesterday, the market turned around, gave another basic engulfing candle pattern on the daily chart. That's why we don't fight with five minute charts because why? We get aggressive entries. So you can go back and look at the chart. We got an aggressive entry, meaning we got in right at the close of the candle on the 22nd. You'll see that that is an engulfing candle if you have access to a trading platform like TradingView or MT4. That's empty for that trading view. Okay. So boom, engulfing candle, daily chart, clear as day. I was telling one of my, 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 my bros, Jay, I was like, listen, I'm really a lazy trader. I don't want to have to look too hard. I want the opportunity to jump out at me. I don't want to have to think too much. Is it obvious or not? That is, I'm um, yes or no. I'm not, maybe I do believe in building a pipeline. Just checking our time. Do believe in building a pipeline as far as like a, not necessarily a watch list because I don't have a lot of, I don't watch a lot of markets. Okay. I don't watch a lot of different pairs. Typically I am watching GBP USD, USDs are maybe euros are make not USD peso. We talked about that in the other video. I took her completely off. I don't want to see her. She's not welcome. Now, sometimes, and I did pop on Euro PLN. Now, you can check the video from the two days ago. We were talking about how that W was setting up. It's a thing of beauty. It's nothing fancy. It's just doing the same thing over and over and not being shaken out of a position because here are a couple of the thoughts I wanted to share about those three days that went against us on Czar. Or technically, it really didn't go against us. 
it was just like, oh, they planned, especially because Monday was a holiday. So it's like, mm. so they're probably just checking up some orders, seeing who wants to trade, participate, wants to buy on Monday, which is not the best time. People were buying, people probably bought on Tuesday, like I thought it was gonna go up. They probably bought again. And then yesterday, which was a fantastic day, that's when we also added position, okay? So we'll probably do more of a walkthrough on the computer of that particular idea because it's there's so much value in the actual idea versus me being like, hey, guess what I did today? I made another gajillion dollars because what, is, what does that really do for you? What does that do for you? Like me drinking tea, that kind of benefits you, but at the same time, you have to drink your own tea. That was, all right. So this is looking really good. And this is always funny because when, when trades like this pop off, you are rarely expecting them to do this. You're wanting to be a little bit more conservative. And this morning when I woke up, we were in profit, obviously, but I was like, hmm, we'll give it until the end of the day because it did pull back and I could have added more positions. And I thought about it. It's these RB plan. And sometimes you can add positions and then she'll keep going down. And I was like, I'm just gonna, we were already, we had about four positions. We added the, the fourth one yesterday. So closed out a few of those and still had one open. We'll see. Great what direction she goes in. It's up to her at this point. So there goes our kind timer. And until the next time, take care. Trade tape.